Hey guys, Mr. Edwards here, Centerville High School Automotive Technology. Today we're going to be mounting and balancing four new tires on our 1996 Toyota Camry that we've been repairing everything that's wrong with it. I got four nice tires here that are ready to go on the rims. I'm here at a shop that's got a tire machine and a road force balancing machine that's very similar to the equipment that we have at school, so this should be a pretty good review for most of you guys. Let's get started. So I've got my four tires off of our Toyota Camry here. We brought them over here to the shop. They are pretty well smoked. I mean, they are chunks missing out of them. When we did our used car inspection on it, we found out that they were well over the safe age for tires anyway, and they're pretty much worn out. So we're gonna swap them out with four nice brand new Westlake RP18 tires. Get us some good tires going down the road so this car is nice and safe. All right, so I've got one of my tires here. I'm gonna come down here, take the valve core out of it, obviously, let all the air out. And while the air is coming out, I'm gonna take off any wheel weights that are around the rim lip. That way we don't drag them with the head of the tire machine and damage them. All right, I'm gonna lose my valve stem cap or my valve core. Once all the air is out of the tire, we'll come over here and break the bead on it, being really careful to avoid our valve stem just in case this has a tire pressure sensor on it. Should be good. Now with my beads broken, I'll bring my tire up, mount it up to the machine. It's the same way that one of our tire machines from school is. Center mount, lock it down, tighten it up. Then I'll bring my head down here. Stem just past where the head is at on it. Grab my tire iron. Bring my top bead up, oop, up and over. Step on the pedal. Top bead is off. My valve stem is back past the head. We'll raise the bottom bead up. Now we've got our new tire here and we want to check and make sure that it doesn't have an inside and an outside marked on it anywhere. Remember, we don't want to mount it on the rim backwards. So I'm looking for the words inside, outside. I don't see it. So we're going to mount it with the side that has these dots painted on it that you can see here, yellow and red. We're going to mount that facing out. And because this is an aluminum rim here, this yellow dot needs to line up with the valve stem. This right here is the mounting paste. It's the equivalent of simple green soap. We're gonna rub it all around the bead on the inside and outside so that the tire goes on nice and smooth and we don't damage the bead. Lubricates everything. Just like that. Bring it up here. Now, remember our little saying, we want to go over top the head on the left, underneath, tuck it down to the drop center point of the rim, and then step on the pedal, and rotate. We got our bottom bead on, now we'll do our top bead. In 
and I want to try to line this yellow dot up with the valve stem for the top. Bring it around town, just like that. We'll go ahead and bring our hose down here and seat our beads. Remember, two pops, top and bottom beads. really soft on this one. We didn't even hear it. Take this back off and put our valve core back in. And we'll inflate it up to 34 PSI, which is what this car wants. Right at 34, just under 35 PSI, that's perfect. Take our hose back off and hang it back up. Put our valve stem cap back on, never forget that. We don't want to damage our valve core. Now, new tires a lot of times come with stickers on them because they're used when they're on the shelf, they can scan them with a barcode, it tells you what tire it is and everything. Make sure you guys peel these stickers off before you balance the tire because these stickers can actually throw off the balance, even though they are just a sticker. Make sure you peel the whole sticker off, throw it away. Take our tire back off the machine here. One tire mounted, three to go, and we'll balance them. So we now have four nice new tires mounted up and four old tires off the rim. I know I sped that up some, but for those of you that are wondering, since we did do our tire relays, uh, relay races, the three tires that you guys saw me do in quick fashion took me a little less than 13 minutes to do, about 12 minutes and 45 seconds for those three. So now we need to take our nice new tires and bring them over here and road force balance them. Now. You guys remember any time that we have a tire off a rim, whether it be to repair it or if we're completely replacing it like what we're doing, we have to balance it once it's back on the rim. Otherwise, the car will not ride down the road smooth. So we need to come over here and balance all four of our tires. So this balancing machine is extremely similar to the one that we have at school. It's a Hunter Road Force balancing machine. That screen should look pretty similar to you guys. It's a little bit different in how it's set up because it is a little bit older, but it does the exact same thing and we're going to go through the process now. So the first thing I need to do is find a centering cone that goes through the middle of our wheel nicely, but not all the way through. This one's too big, but a little bit smaller. That one should work. It goes right in the middle of our wheel. Slide that on here. Bring our wheel up, get it lined up good, tighten it down. Now 
Now, we already had all of our old wheel weights off, so we're just going to bring our measurement arms out, take our measurements. Good. We'll check our tire pressure, make sure it's set to 34. So with our hood up, we got our green arrow right up top on the inside for 20 grams. I got a 20 gram weight right here, and I'm going to come over and hammer on. Hold, break, hold it still for me. Okay, okay, so we are all good to go here. Now, we're gonna do something a little different because we are, ba are ma uh, balancing four brand new tires. We want this car to go down the road nice and smooth. So we're gonna tag all four tires so that this machine can tell us where to put them on the car so that everything is as smooth as it can possibly be. The way we do that, right here, this picture, we're gonna select K4 and it's gonna tag this tire as number one. Now, with our machine at school, we have these colored tags, like the one that's flashing there that you would slide on the valve stem. Because this is in a shop, it's older, techs have used it for years, all those tags are missing. So I'm just gonna take a tire crayon and draw a number one on this tire. And I'll do that to all the other tires too. Number one, two, three, and four. So anytime that you guys are going to write anything on a tire, if you can, you should write it on the inside of the tire that's facing in towards the car, or you can't see it from the outside. That way, when the customer gets their car back, they're not going to see a yellow number written on their nice brand new tires they've just paid for. That probably wouldn't make them very happy. Right, we'll go ahead and take it back off of here. So I've got one tire nice and balanced, three to go. So our second tire here, balanced out perfectly with no weight on it which is extremely rare but it can happen the one thing to check if this ever happens to you guys make sure your tire didn't come loose come over here and make sure it's still tight this one is because one way that i've seen that this can happen is if your tire is loose but not loose enough to screw up the machine it will tell you it needs no weight when it really does and it's just loose so make sure it's still tight if it is awesome i'll we'll come over here tag this one as number two K4, number two, okay, write a number two on it. So the third tire here threw up a warning. We have excessive road force. So we're just gonna cancel out of it here, hit K1, see what we got. <laughs> we 
We got double the road force we should have, 16 kilograms, that's a lot. We'll go ahead and try to just balance it out and see what happens or if we need to do some force matching. Because if this is the only one with excessive road force, we can just tag it and it'll put it as far away from the driver as possible anyway. 35 grams on the outside. Let's see if it balances out. And we got okay, okay on this one, so we'll just tag it, hit K4 here. This one will be number three. And if this is the only one with excessive road force, see how it's telling us to put it as far away from the driver as possible? It'll probably stay there. And our fourth tire here, we've got very low road force and we need 40 grams on the outside. So we'll come right up top here, 40 grams. Check spin. We are okay, so we'll tag this one as number four and write a number four on it. So we have four nice new tires here, mounted up, balanced, and numbered so that we know where to put them on the car. Now let's take a look at the machine and see where it wants us to, to put them. So this is the screen it's gonna automatically take you to. And for some reason, I don't know why, our machine at school does the same thing. It automatically takes you to setting it up for least tire pull. So least pull in the steering wheel where it's gonna take you. We want to set it up for least vibration because that's what we're trying to really reduce by balancing these tires. So hit K3 here for show least vibration and it'll move the tires around for where it wants them for the car to vibrate the least. Four being in the left front where the steering wheel's at, one being on the passenger front, right front, two's on the left rear, and four with our excessive road force, or sorry, three with our excessive road force on it is on the right rear, as far away from the driver as you can get. So we got our four tires ba our mount, our balanced up here and we're ready to put them back on the car how, how the machine wants us to. Alright guys, so we got four nice new tires mounted up for our Toyota Camry. Old tires are off, we don't need to worry about those anymore. I want to give a thank you to the shop that again let me use their equipment here. This is the same shop that we uh, used the brake lay that. Um, we got to use their tire machine and their road force balance machine now. So that was great to get this taken care of for that car. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, had a little refresher from it, maybe learned something new. Make sure you fill out the reflection sheet that goes along with it, and we'll talk soon. Thanks, guys.